Several groups now defending a Salt Lake City, Utah nurse. An officer's body camera captured police arresting her for refusing to allow a detective to draw blood from an unconscious patient. Here's the video. Now, the nurse argues the detective did not have a warrant and points out hospital policy makes it mandatory for workers to get consent from patients before collecting blood samples. The city's mayor and its police chief have apologized for the incident and placed two officers now on paid administrative leave. Let's bring in our legal panel, Jonas Spilbor and Yodi Tawalde, both former prosecutors and criminal defense attorneys. Appreciate you both uh, being here. I will admit I am partial to nurses. My mother, my father always told me to marry one, uh, <laughs> but it is noteworthy uh, that neither of you women were willing to defend or could even find an argument to defend the police in this. So, Jonah, yeah. to you, uh, we're now hearing that there's a possibility that this uh, nurse is going to file a lawsuit, shockingly, uh, mm -hmm. against, against the city. Is there a defense for the city on that? Probably not. And, you know, I don't think she's going to have to file a lawsuit, Leland, because this is such an, an overtly egregious event that if the police department is smart, they will write her a check without the publicity of filing a lawsuit. There really is no defense for this police officer, because when you take a deeper dive, we can all look at the video and see that the nurse did everything right. The police officer did everything wrong. But dive a little deeper. And the acts that precipitated this hospital event, the acts that got them there, when you look at that, it seems the police officer was not trying to uphold the law. He was trying to end run it by using this nurse to do his dirty work that's inexcusable. This is what the mayor uh, said in a statement. What I saw is completely unacceptable to the values of my administration and the values of the Salt Lake City Police Department. I extend a personal apology to Miss Wubbles for what she has been through for simply doing her job. So, Yudit, this brings up a interesting question. As far as we can tell, this, this nurse was not injured during this. She was put in a patrol car for about 20 minutes and then uh, evidently cooler heads prevailed and they figured out ar arresting nurses for not doing things that are against policy or against the law is a bad idea. Still, should she get money for this or is this more of an issue of should the police officers be fired for this? Uh, both. I definitely think that this nurse should be compensated for um, any pain, physical pain that she may have endured. We don't know whether she did endure physical pain or not. Um, she could have. I mean, we all saw the video and how this officer manhandled her and used so so much aggression towards her, um, shoved her and, and, you know, put her against the wall. So we don't know that she um, didn't suffer any physical injuries, but she should be compensated and given damages for any um, embarrassment, pain and suffering um, that she might have endured. I mean, this was a traumatic um, situation for this nurse that everybody um, could witness and see and feel for her. So absolutely. And these officers, especially the one that was asking for the blood samples exp uh, and the other officers that allowed him to do so um, and violently um, show aggression towards this, uh, this nurse should also pay consequences for their action or lack thereof. All right, uh, ladies, appreciate you both being here. Jana, uh, Yodit, uh, clearly it seems as though both of you'd like to have the nurse uh, as, a, uh, as a client here coming up. Yeah. Uh, thank you friend. both. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All the best. Heather? Thank you.